Hello everybody, my name is Virus Flurb and I am back to bring you guys another video. Today we are going to be looking at the next build in my series, which is uh, my Windows NT 5.0 series. Windows NT 5.0 Beta 2 build 1877. Now, I know it's been a really big jump from my Windows NT uh, 1691 build however I had a lot of trouble with the builds in between there wasn't much information out there and most of it was because it would not work in any emulating software that I chose it wouldn't work in VirtualBox it would not work in VMware <laughs> yes I'm starting to use VMware now and it did not work in PSIM so I could not get those builds out because they would blue screen they would either crash during setup or they just would not boot up at all however this is a very nice looking build it's a pretty it's getting closer and closer to the release date of Windows NT uh, Windows 2000 actually the BIOS date on this is August 18th, 1998. So I'm going to assume that this is when this build was compiled. And right off the bat, we can see the setup is completely different. It is a revolutionized setup right here. It looks more like the modern Windows 2000 setup that you would possibly see here. As you can see, it's configuring and installs devices. It has Windows NT Workstation. It doesn't say NT 5.0 or Windows 2000 yet. It's not saying that yet. I This is going to be the last beta build that I have Windows NT 5.0 because the other builds just don't work. I've already tried getting those, those darn builds to work, but they just don't work. So the next video you guys are going to be seeing is going to be a big jump right into Windows 2000, the RTM version. So we're going to be taking a look at the RTM version. We're going to also be looking at the service packs. So get ready for that next week. Anyways, let's go right back. Here we go. Gives us an option to choose the colors. It actually finally recognized the video card that I put on this darn machine. So that's really nice. So please wait while well, Windows NT examines your computer. So let that go right there. So here we go, this is where we're going to do the network settings. So I'm going to do typical settings. Excuse my uh, <laughs> lacking there. Here we go. Work group. So we don't have a work group. Okay. So it's finishing up everything. It's finishing up setup. I had to make a lot of cuts here because nothing too much interesting has really happened. I mean, the only things that have really happened here is that they've added some new programs here and there. They've updated a little bit of the kernel. They've actually amped up some of the colors i could not show you guys the colors in the in the other series because the video cards wouldn't work it wouldn't display right and it's just you know beta builds because beta builds are really nice here we go so we're just about to finish up setup oh i forgot to mention this build is probably very famous for its startup sound unfortunately the sound card does not work on this virtual machine so i could not get you guys any of the startup sound i would have been very nice to let you guys hear the startup sound it was um very very nice um a faster version can be found in build uh, 1946 but i will not be reviewing that at all so here we go let's finish this up as you can see, it changed the branding, Microsoft Windows NT Workstation 5.0 Beta 2. So, let's just wait for Windows NT Beta to finish up, get out of here. There we go, we're gonna restart. OS loader is still there, and we got a new boot up screen. Here we go, this is very nice. So, we're gonna hop right into the operating system. So, they changed a lot of the branding a little bit. Moving away from the NT 4.0 all the way to NT 5.0. And actually, in Windows 2000, this is the last, um, this is the last, uh, Windows NT build. The last Windows NT operating system that actually contains the NT branding. They dropped the NT branding, uh, from Windows 2000. So here we go. Here's the startup screen. Let's log in. And let's get right into the build. So wait for it to load. Network service unavailable. And here we go. As you can see, it's a lot different. The icons look a lot more different. They look definitely look windows 2000 so we're getting closer and closer windows nt workstations there let's take a look at the programs we have here so accessibility we've got pretty much which oh they have pinball here look at this we have pinball here okay let's give it a little shot um 
I didn't know that they would have pinball here, but they do. This is the first uh, the first instance of uh, 3D pinball, which is really nice. It's a little lagging, but it's okay. So that's enough of that. Don't want to go too off on a tangent. Here we go. We're going to see Windows update. Will it actually update Windows? I put this server with the page cannot be displayed. Okay, so it doesn't want us to uh, do any updates to Windows. And I believe IE is IE... I want to say IE5. I believe this build it has IE5. We won't be we won't see when uh, IE6 until RTM I believe, and until Windows ME. So here we go. System property shows build 1877. Look at the hard disk. Everything looks pretty much relatively the same. Nothing too different. I got control panel. Oh, they added the o ODBC. Telephony, we got power management, mouse, network connections. We've got our local area connection. Nothing there. Pretty, pretty standard stuff here. And administrative tools. Everything looks pretty much the same. Nothing too different here. Oh, found new hardware. <laughs> not gonna install that because it's not gonna install very well. Let's go to the local disk. Still has the Win NT branding there. Here we got a little bit of a new kind of design there. That's a system 32. Regedit. Regedit looks the same. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much the same. D don't remember it looking any different. Welcome. So, oh wow, okay, so they have the new welcome screen for Windows NT 5.0. So that's pretty cool. So that's really nice how they have that um, welcome screen for when you first boot up. Didn't show up, however. <laughs> Notepad. Notepad looks the same. It's looking nice. Oh, we have preview there. Look at that. That's nice. The system 32. Let's go right into the system 32 folder. Show the files. Now we're going to go way down and see what we can find. Everything. I saw some new icons there. Looks like calculator looks the same. Nothing too different about calculator. What else do we got here? So it looks like they definitely changed the IE icon to match the regular IE icon. There's free cell. Um, hmm. There's nothing much else I can see that is new about this build. Um, I am seeing some... Oh, they have, still have the same paintbrush icon. Uh, paint still looks the same. Nothing too different. Looks modern. Looks like the modern paint that we know it. At least in Windows 2000 and Windows XP. <laughs> modern, at least. Alright. So it looks like some of the icons have just stayed the same. Nothing too different. The sound icon looks a little different, I believe. Everything looks fine. Still has view channels. There's Minesweeper. Minesweeper's still here. Uh, Minesweeper looks the same. Nothing too different about it. Just gonna play a little game. Eh, eh, kind of mine. Anyways, let's go look at the Win version. So here we go. It still has the Windows NT style, the old style flag. So here we go. That's nice. So that's pretty much about it. Oh, there's Outlook Express. Let's take a look at it. All right, Outlook Express. It looks. I don't think I ever opened Outlook Express in any of my builds. So this is the first time you guys are gonna see Outlook Express. <laughs> Please enter a valid email address. Yes, I don't want to create it. But this is what it looks like. This is what Outlook Express looks like. Here we go. I believe this is Outlook Express. I, I, actually, no. I should not even be going out on a limb telling you guys the version because I don't know the version of Outlook Express. Cycle bin icon looks a little different, which is very nice. Thanks to the, to the improved graphics that we got. We've got administrative tools. Let's take a look at Event Viewer. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, Event Viewer looks like the modern Event Viewer, actually. So that's very nice. Um, let's take a look. More hyper terminal. Oh, this is for like terminal servers. Sounds. That's pretty much. Oh, Internet Explorer. We have Life. Wait, what? We have Microsoft Chat Net Meeting. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at Microsoft Chat. There we go. Everyone's a comic staring. Oh my gosh. This is what Microsoft Chat looked like. So you can actually connect to a server and chat with people with this. This is really nice. Now oh, working offline. Room one. That's nice. Alright, let's go back to programs. See what else do we have here. We also have net meeting too. And I believe that's about it. There's nothing much else I can really say about this. Nothing too different. There's nothing much I can I can actually say. Active desktop is still here, obviously. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me throughout all these Windows and uh, builds. I'm I am actually very sorry for not being able to actually do the other builds I really wanted to do and have a little bit more in-depth 
um, look at Windows NT 5.0. However, we did get to see the majority of it. We did get to see a good amount of changes that it was definitely worthwhile to see all this. But the new uh, shutdown Windows um, dialog box. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate everything. All the love and support you guys have been giving me. All the nice comments you guys have been leaving me. So I would like to say please rate, comment, and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you guys really do enjoy. And share this video to keep uh, keep my channel growing. Share it with your buddies. Share this with people who would actually be interested in looking at this stuff. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thanks for all the love and support. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm Salutable, signing off.